Hello Benefish fam and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is something that I feel like a lot of people tend to shy away from but I wanted to address it just because I've gone through it and a lot of beta parents have gone through it as well and that is the topic of loss. Losing a beta fish. One especially dear to your heart and you know whether you've had a beta fish for a week, a month, or several years they always have a way of wiggling into your heart and no matter when they leave, it always breaks my heart to see them go. I wanted to start off this video with a little story for you. But this is the story of Ace, my beta. So at the time of this story, I was in Georgia visiting some friends. Now a month ago at this time, I had lost my beta fish that I had had for three years. His name was Kyler and he was very, very dear to me. I was kind of toting around the old tank with me. I knew that I wanted to get another betta, but I wasn't sure at what point I wanted to. But then as I was visiting in Georgia, I happened to pass a local fish store and I had never seen this one before. There's only one of them and it was in that specific location where I was. So I thought I would check it out. I mean, why not? It looked neat and it was different than a Petco's or PetSmart's that I would usually visit. So I walked in and they had a gorgeous betta wall. I mean, they had a lot of betta fish. I remember walking to the back of the store looking on this little table and they had a few betta fish just kind of randomly stacked there that weren't on the wall. And I saw this one and he was beautiful. He was purple, red, and a little bit of electric blue. I immediately knew that he was mine. You know, a lot of people say you pick the betta. I truly believe that the betta picks you. So I had my tank cycled. I took him home. And just like many betta fish, after they find a loving forever home, his colors started to improve. And after a day or so, I really started falling in love with him. Sadly, about a day after that, I woke up one morning and I checked on him and he was floating kind of oddly toward the surface. I didn't notice anything inherently wrong, but he was kind of floating towards the heater. I thought, Maybe it was just a new hangout that he liked. Maybe he liked to be near the heater because I've had other bettas that like to do that. But after about an hour of monitoring him, I noticed something fuzzy start popping up and all of a sudden his colors started fading. And I recognize this as a very bad case of culinaris and you can look it up. Maybe I'm not even pronouncing it right but this was a bad case. A lot of times it is caused by poor water conditions and because he was in such a small container in the store, even though the store was more specialized, I suspect that he caught it from there and it was such an early case that I didn't notice it by looking at him, but as soon as he got home with me, it started rapidly increasing. And a lot of times if your betta does develop this kind of sickness, there are some things that you can do. It is a more dangerous sickness than some of the other ones such as ick or finrot. It is harder to treat. I ran to the store and I grabbed some things, but as soon as I got back and I put a few things in the water, I came back and I noticed that he had passed away. So even though I had only had him for about a day, it absolutely broke my heart. I just wanted to share that experience with you to let you know that you're not alone. If you have ever experienced betta fish loss, the best thing that you can do is just grieve for a little bit, as long as it takes. If you've had the betta fish for longer, a lot of times you can feel sadder, but depending on the type of person you are, I'm just very soft-hearted person. And even after I'd had him for a day, I was already attached. So it took me a day or two to get over his death. And even then I was still really sad, but I did walk into another fish store and I ended up seeing William and I knew that he was meant to be, and here he is. He's very healthy, he's been with me for almost a year now. So whenever you lose your betta fish, whether that be from old age, sickness, maybe you just got him at the store, the best thing that you can do is not to blame yourself. Betta fish are a lot harder to bring back from sickness as a dog or a cat would be. It's just reality, these little fish, can be very prone to catching things from the water, from the environment. Sometimes it comes from the store. So the best thing to do is one, to not blame yourself and two, do whatever you can to help you get over it. And you can mourn the loss of your pet. It's completely natural. Don't feel silly because it's just a little fish. And honestly, it surprised me at first how much a little fish can wiggle its way into your heart. I mean, my little buddy's about two inches long and I love him so much. If you feel ready, get another one. You have the tank, you have the supplies, go provide a home for another one. A new betta fish will never replace the one that you had, but 
in my experience, it will definitely help with the healing process. It's just a continuous cycle. I've had about five or six bettas ever since I started this journey, and I can tell you I loved every single one. But one piece of advice that I would strongly suggest you take is to choose wisely which store you buy from. Now, a lot of people only have the big box fish stores in their area, and if that's all you have, that's all right. There is the option to buy online, but if you really want to buy in person, you can go to those stores. However, look at the betta thoroughly, look for vibrant colors, look to see if the betta is following your finger or not, different things like that. Make sure he's alert. And as soon as you take him home, I would honestly suggest giving him a little salt bath or putting him in a little quarantine tank just to watch him, monitor him, maybe give him a few antibiotics in his water just to give him a boost whether or not he could be sick. This would definitely increase his chances. I hope this video helped you. If you ever had a Bella that was dear to your heart, please tell me a little bit about him in the comments. I would love to hear about him or her because it is now a new month. There is a brand new guide and you can find it in the description. In addition, if you have not joined my Facebook group yet, the Betta Fish Forum, I strongly advise you to do that. It is a wonderful community. There are so many wonderful people in there. They love to help. They love to give advice. Head on over to my group. A link to that will be in the description as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.